Hi darlings, this is Christina and today we have some Dior goodies. I know they have come out with so many cool new lip things. So today we're going to talk about my personal, well I should say one of my personal favorite Dior formulas and that is the Velvet Matte. They have reformulated them. I don't know, I'm a little scared guys. I'm hoping they're just as amazing as they have been in the past, but you know what? Let's just get into it. So the two colors I opted for were 314 Gram Ball and then we have and then we have 581 Vera Volt. I think it's Vera Volt. So, you know, already I can tell you the packaging is a little different. They definitely feel a little weightier than the old packaging. So these are my two ride or dies. I have 925 Pink Peony and then we have 200 New Touch. These are my two jams, so I will compare them um, at the end of the video, but they definitely feel weightier and the packaging is different. It's a little sleeker, it looks to me. You see, let me compare. So it's less bulky. So that's kind of nice because you'll have more space um to place these also when you open them before you would see like a little red inside like a little stiletto you know like the what are those um the red bottoms i can't think right now guys i'm so sorry it's manolo blonix yes uh, that's what it reminded me of but that is gone guys they have removed that completely so I just have a little gloss on right now so let me remove it and we're gonna get into the first one okay so let's start with grand ball so or emblem it's so pretty it's embossed on there with the new Dior like the letters are a little larger but this color I know it's giving a warm fall but I just couldn't resist it something about this color just really spoke to me so this is the color grand ball it is quite uh, lighter than I actually expected it to be and sometimes that's Dior like you can't always go by what the website look shows you because it could be totally different I've seen that so I'm just gonna apply it I knew something was happening with these lipsticks because honestly things were going out of stock like the pink peony it was weird it was I don't know there was it was weird the way the website was showing the velvet mats a lot of them were no longer available so it was giving me an indication they're reformulating them and I'm so glad I got my pink peony because I have to figure out what that replacement would be because they didn't they just took it out completely didn't reformulate it so this color is actually nice uh, doesn't really go with my look and I thought it was being a more neutral but clearly I'm not I'm definitely leaning on the pink side of things um, but this is nice it's perfect kind of color that you could also kind of transition from like fall into spring kind of color, at least with my tone. I like it. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It's very, I don't know. It's like just right. I'm like I said, I don't love it like with my pink blush and things right now, but if you can imagine like, you know, just some bronzer and a little eye and my eyes aren't pink. It's the Clay de Poe um, palette. So it's very neutral so I could still wear that but the pink blush is throwing this off a little I've already got some feelings about the difference but we're gonna save that for the end let's move on to the next color so 581 Vera Volt very pretty color and once again let me show you it still has that pretty Dior logo and let me swatch it here okay so it is very like fuchsia-esque, if that makes sense. This is gonna go much better with my overall look right now. I really like this one, but I love these like pinky purplish color. This definitely leans a little more pinky. It, I do. Um, okay let's let's talk first thing i notice is these are more more emollient so 
the velvet mats had a little bit of a drier formula, which I was not mad at. This one still has a stick, but it's got more slip to it. So it has to have some type of formula that has more emollients, in my opinion. First, let me compare them to the old ones. So I have three colors. Um, I have 720, and this is Icon. This is like a classic color of Dior's. This was like a Mother's Day um, color, some maybe probably like two years ago. Anyways, if I'm feeling them, I don't know if you can see how this spreads a little easier, where if I do this, it doesn't spread as easy. That's because this one has more stick to it, okay? So that's that's interesting. And then let's do my favorite. I probably wear this between the Pink Peony and Nude Look, definitely um, these are my two favorite. But I don't know if you can see the difference in texture between these two and these so far. Now let me do Pink Peony because we just have to show you all of them. And it's so funny because Pink Peony and Nude Bloom, Nude Look almost look the same, but they are different in tone. If you liked the kind of, hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Lip that's a little more, you know, more of a matted finish. If you like the more matted finish, you're gonna be disappointed because this one does not have as much matte, but I will say it's very flattering, especially to us as women who are like a little older, you know, our skin's a little more mature. This is gonna be more hydrating, more of a hydrating matte. Now there was a color I'm thinking of right away. This is in the Chanel's Rouge Allure. It's their matte, but not their ultra matte. So this is Profondor, and I swear this looks so similar. So I'm gonna swatch it right here. And even this has more stick. Did you see how that like rubbed? Okay, Profondor is a little darker in tone, but dang, that is like a lot stickier than that one. And when I say stickier, I just mean like it's more matted. So there's definitely a difference. I mean, I'm that kind of woman, if it's not broke, don't fix it kind of thing. But I'm sure they made these more healthy, you know, with less bad ingredients. I don't know though. I'm I like it. I don't know if I prefer it over the other formula, but it'll just take me some time to get used to. But I don't know, darlings. What do you think? Did you like the original did you like the matte from dior in the first place velvet matte was like my favorite lipstick formula um and what do you think i don't know i'm just still undecided about it i really hate when brands reformulate because you never know like what's going to happen to your favorite products so anyways darlings you let me know what you think in the comments down below oh my gosh dior i hope you guys have a great day a wonderful weekend hey let me know, you know, if you have anything you want to see, anything you'd like me to review or talk about, you know, this is a community and I would love to get some feedback from you guys about, you know, as I'm planning out my year, what are you guys interested in? Because I'm definitely interested in giving you guys what you want um, as best that I can. So, so anyways, darlings, have a great day, a wonderful week, and I'll catch you next one.